Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading chapter 34 from Two Worlds, a novel of friends and foes from strange places by Laura T. Lee. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 34 Lily, Jake, and Tara made their way through the crowd until they reached the northern tower. Entering, Tara went to a hallway and led the others to a door. Lily pushed it open. Two stone columns stretched up, rising 20 feet high from the ceiling to the floor. Jake circled the room. This would be a good place to make a plan, he said. His voice echoed eerily. Yeah, Lily agreed. We finally get a place to rest and... Behind them, Tara hissed. Lily whipped around. Tara stared at them, and as though she were in a trance, took a step forward. The gray mist lady had come back. Was this what you were talking about? Jake whispered. Yes, Lily whispered back. I would have you in my control, Jake, Tara said, but I am saving my energy for the final break. Her eyes sparkled dangerously. Uh, can you let Tara go? Jake prompted. Tara looked at him. If someone asked you to release a prisoner you have just caught, would you oblige? No, Jake admitted. Lily muttered, distract her. Jake cleared his throat. So, Teresa, he said, any luck with your plan? Tara laughed. My plan is going along well. Thank you very much. But I have a little side errand. I know you will not leave without Tara. On a normal day, I would have never let her go. But I am in a good mood. I'll give you a small test. A small round table erupted from the stone floor. A tiny red button was perched on it. The button stops your power momentarily, doesn't it? Lily said. If we press it, Tara will be free. Yes. Jake's eyes flickered at the button. He sheathed his sword. Lily put her dagger away, but she left her sword out. Go and get the button, Teresa teased. I would like to see you try. Jake lunged for the button. A smile appeared on Tara's face as she thrust out her hand. Gray mist flowed from her fingers. The flowing tendrils wrapped themselves around Jake, sending him flying backward into one of the columns, where they lashed him tight against the stone. I think I like this room, she said. Two columns, two troublesome people to tie them to. She stretched out her other hand, and more gray fog pushed Lily against the other column. Tara watched them with an amused look on her face as they struggled against their bonds. I can't reach my sword, Jake gasped. Lily turned her own sword in her hand, so the tip pointed upward. As the blade touched the mist, the gray fog sizzled. The sword seemed to be drinking in the evil magic. Lily carefully cut through the mist and it disappeared. 
Tara growled. You dare oppose me? Press the button, Jake said. Lily started toward the small round table, but Tara stepped in her way. You will come with me, she said. The queen sent more gray mist at her. Get the button, Jake yelled as he struggled against his restraints. Lily hesitated as gray fog shot toward her. Press the button, Jake shrieked. Lily leaped over the mist and slammed her fist down on the button. Tara shuddered and blinked. What just happened? She asked in confusion. Teresa happened, Jake said. Now get me out of here. Still perplexed, Tara slashed through the mist with her sword. We need to get out of this place, Lily said. Give me a second. Jake sat down on the floor and rubbed his arms. The button will Teresa from attacking us only for a minute, Lily insisted. As if on cue, glowing gray tendrils flowed from the wall opposite them and raced forward. They ran out of the room, Lily slamming the door behind them. Slicing a lamp off the hallway wall, she tucked as many explosive grenades as she could into the lamp shade, kicked open the door, tossed the grenades inside, and quickly closed the door. Back away, Lily ordered. They hugged the wall as the explosion rocked the floor. The door was nearly blasted off its hinges. Silence filled the air. Lily was just starting to think. Dang, it actually worked. But suddenly, gray mist seeped out from under the door. Teresa is not happy, Tara noticed. They ran for their lives as Teresa's voice screamed in anger. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for chapter 35. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.